Hi, I'm Stacy Harmon, and I want to show you how I work with Evernote on a day-to-day -day basis. And what I did today is I had a virtual meeting with a vendor. We used uh, online conferencing software to share screens and have audio conversation, and I used Evernote to help facilitate the project planning that we're doing. So I recorded the session and then edited down to about three minutes your, the process I took to work with her on Evernote and then share the information with her after the fact. Even though I'm Evernote centric and she doesn't use Evernote at all, I wanted to show that Evernote really is a day-to-day -day, uh, support to the work that I'm doing. And this is real life work uh, that we just did today. And uh, you'll see my process and hopefully learn something from it uh, that you can apply to your business as well. So enjoy this case study. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. So when the meeting started, I went to share my screen. We're in Uber conference here and I can share my screen. Went to share, went over to Evernote and launched this note that I had used an Evernote table in. And she and I are talking and while we're talking, we're filling out this table, which is logging a variety of tasks and marking who's responsible for what. And I sped up the video here. So this was about 45 minutes to create that table. Then the meeting ended. And when it ended, back over in Evernote, you can see that I've got the note here that has the completed notes from our meeting. I went to copy public link. I went back over to my email and I emailed her the link to the table. And you can see what I did here. I just inserted the hyperlink where it says, here's the table. And when you click on that, you can see it takes them to a public website that they don't have to have Evernote to access. And this is what it would look like to anyone that you share it with. I also went over and BCC'd my Evernote account so that a copy of that went into my Evernote account. And you can see here, this is the email. And then I quickly moved it. This is live in real time to a notebook that I have. And then if I jump to that notebook, you can see that I have that instantaneously filed those two notes both the email documentation of the, the note of our work that I had emailed to her, as well as the source note that is uh, underlying that. So that may have moved pretty fast for you. Feel free to watch it a time or two. But the point was not to show you exactly how to do all those things. It was to show you how I'm functionally using Evernote to get work done uh, and basically manage my projects uh, in Evernote. And I did that with a couple of skills. I showed you how I use screen share, which isn't something in Evernote, but I used Evernote to collaborate through screen share with a vendor. I used Evernote tables to log different tasks and responsibilities. I then shared that information with my vendor through a public link uh, via email. And then I filed that information, which I had BCC'd to myself using Evernote's email to Evernote function so that I was able to retain a copy of the email that I had sent her, as well as file that very, very quickly using uh, key commands and other elements that uh, I'm familiar with in the Evernote interface, desktop interface, so that all my information is organized in a notebook that I use to manage my relationship with that vendor. So. You can see it's very effective. It was very efficient. She had the information she needed and I was able to move on and not have to type up notes after our meeting to share with her. And uh, if you're interested in learning how you can do all of this, check out my course in the comments or the description below. I'll put a link to Radical Productivity with Evernote where I teach you all the skills that I showed you here that would allow you to do the same uh, with Evernote and in your work environment. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Till next time.